Hello friends, now I'm going to teach you how to approach publishing. Before you go to publish your book, you're going to want to make sure that everything is good. So I'm just going to click through everything in my book, um, starting at my title page, and just make sure everything looks the way that I want it. Sometimes you put something in and then uh, for some reason the format changes and it doesn't look like how you thought it did. So you just want to click through and make sure everything looks how you want it to. Um, and you're especially going to pay attention to your references. So I'm scanning these references, uh, these URLs, and making sure that they all look good. We've got Wikimedia Commons all the way down. We've got a random Flickr one, Wikimedia Commons, Wikimedia Commons. Um, notice these are all pretty short URLs. I'm um, not using really long ones. I'm making sure that I click on the actual photo so that I get uh, the right URL for it. Um, Wikimedia Commons, Wikimedia Commons. Uh, attribution right here that was requested. Library of Congress. And I have my information sources um, for my text, which I did not copy, I used to summarize. Um, so everything looks good here. What I'm going to do now is go uh, up to file at the top and I'm going to go to publish. Now if you go to export, that's different. Um, you can export it as a PDF which is flat. It's basically like taking a picture of each page and so there's no interactivity. Um, this is another type of file, um, but that's not what we're doing. So what we're doing is we're actually publishing it to the iBooks bookstore. So you click on publish and it has this little thing that you click through. And so the first thing that you need to do is um, sign into iTunes Connect. And if you haven't created an account with iTunes Connect, I hadn't beforehand, you would need to um, go and do that. And it will give you a link. Let's remember me. Okay, so since I've already submitted this book, it's going to automatically do this for me, but this one will automatically be in there for you. Um, also a note on iTunes Connect. Um, what you didn't see since I've already created a profile is when you create one, it'll have you put in information about yourself that you want to be very uh, precise about. You um, want to put in your name that appears on your taxes um, because a lot of times people will use iBooks author to publish books to the iBook store that they're actually selling. And so um, there's a very strict procedure and it's not easy to edit your information afterwards. So make sure you put in the right information from the beginning. Do not put yourself as affiliated with any organization. Just submit it as an individual. Um, and I'll show you what to do later so that it can be um, accessible by all of us so that we have a common thing that we can search for so that we can find everyone's books. So you're going to click through this, click continue. Um, mine's going to look a little different than yours. I'm not actually going to finish this process because I don't want to publish the same thing again. Right now it's going to ask us for a sample. Um, so you can choose any of your um, chapters that you've done and have it be like a free sample that someone can see uh, when they click on your iBook. And now we're going to export the book to iTunes Producer iTunes Producer is a software that um, I have already downloaded, so you won't see me do that part of the process. Um, but you will have a big blue button right there that tells you to download iTunes Producer. So you click on it, and it takes you to this web page that just has a bunch of links. And um, the link that you want that does producer is about halfway through the page 
Um, in the directions, I have the actual heading that goes above it so you can find it. But what I just did is um, Command F or Control F for find, and then I, I typed in producer so that I could find where on the web page it had it. And from there, I could download that software um, to my computer. So now I'm going to export my file into iTunes producer, which is what allows me to um, put it onto the iBook store. So it'll take a minute to do that. Great, now it has finished and it's going to give me this link that will open up iTunes Producer. Makes me log in again. Stay signed in this time. And when you log in, it's going to have this short little intro video. I would recommend watching it. We're not going to right now. You click continue. This is a book and it automatically imports all of this information in from iBooks author. If you want to, you can drag in screenshots here, but I didn't do it. You don't have to do it. Um, this is really important, series. We're going to name our series BYU IPT. This is how you're going to be able to find all of our iBooks in the future. So if you do a project like this with your class and you want to show them more examples, or if you just want content, you're doing a unit and you want to see some more biographies or something, um, you can go to the iBooks bookstore and search for our series and find all of the books produced this semester and in future semesters as we continue to do this assignment. Um, there's some information that's required as you continue to go down here. Um, it's going to make you put in your name two different ways. And if you have multiple authors, um, you can add another author. Um, you can make them multiple primary authors. Your description has to be at least 50 characters long. Mine was too short at first, um, so make sure it's long enough. Um, if you're doing a new version, like it thinks I am, you would put something in here. Um, and there's three different types of categories. Um, I think, no, that's not the one I did. This wasn't uh, familiar to me. So I did BISAC, whatever that category is, and I chose biography or autobiography, and then found presidents and heads of state. My interest level, um, the categories was U.S. school grades, and I said mine was about a fifth grade uh, content level, the content standards from fifth grade, and I chose to write it at a fifth grade reading level. Um, and publisher, you just write in your own name, publication date, write today's date, book language, English, um, book type is a book. It'll automatically assign you a vendor ID. So you don't need to worry about this, although if you want to do an ISBN number, you can figure out how to, yourself, how to do that yourself. Um, and once you have this all figured out, um, you'll notice that this submit button is grayed out. You can't submit it from this screen. You have to click over here on files first and click on book and then you can click submit. It probably won't let me since I didn't fill out everything on that previous page, um, but that's basically the process.